What is up, everyone? How is everyone doing? We'll be playing some Genshin. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do the next part of that story quest in the anniversary event while I eat. Because why not? Very excited for this. Very excited indeed. I've actually been not spoiled. I haven't actually been on any sites recently to uh, spoil myself. So it is all unspoiled. into Google Chrome. Let's go, oh my God, 159. Let's go. Need to get my party out. My actual party, there we go. Sorry, I'm eating a meal kit right now because I am a poor, poor person. Sorry. No notice. When do we have the update? Oh, that's it. That's actually it. Got it. Whatever. 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 <laughs> I don't have an issue with this. This is pretty nice though. Very smooth, very, very... This gameplay is going to be very nice. I'm just making sure right now that it, it is up on my second monitor. All right, let's go. All right, how much, how close are we? Two and a half minutes, I can do that. We can do that real quick. <clears throat> Trying to <coughs> grind for Ganyu right now. We could do this. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Resin has been used. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. And that's my five intertwines. Let's go. I'm tempted to do these wishes on the weapon banner right now. Which I'm gonna do. Let's go, four star. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is a sacrifice. Yeah, Fafonius Greatsword. Ooh, I actually don't have this. Let's go. Nice. Ooh, sweet. Still have 19,000. Oh, right, I forgot it's October now. So I can actually take these and do two more. Let's go, come on. 
Damn it. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 oh! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Die, Luke! Welcome home, motherfucker! How are you, you sweet baby boy? Fuck yeah! Let's fucking go! That is awesome! That is amazing! That is so fucking lucky! I'm so happy! Let's fucking go! Ascension materials. Ooh, ooh, ascension materials. Ooh, ascension materials. Ooh, baby, this is gonna be sweet. Whew. This is funny. I'm just gonna level up to level 12. Let's go. I just got Diluc. I'm so happy about that. There we go. And we're gonna send this motherfucker already. Bingo. I have all of the... Necessary. I have everything to do it. Alright, we're gonna start on these. We're gonna do one last. How much? Bingo. We're gonna send them again. What lies in what? Level up. Double spam, 900, that's lucky. Nice shit. Fuck yes. God, that is so lucky. God, that is so lucky. God, I'm so fucking happy. Let's fucking go. It's another five star in the bag for the free to play player. Let's fucking get it. Hold on, I have to go to, uh, I have to go to character archive. Fuck yeah! And he's harder to get. Dialogue is harder to get on the standard banner. God damn, dude, I'm so fucking happy for that. Let's fucking go! Oh, I'm so happy. Smooth as butter. So now I'm only missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Five stars. Is that 13? And I am only missing 3, 4 stars. I'm missing Kujo, Sayu, and Razor. We're actually super excited about that. That's so fucking lucky. Alright, that's a good start. That's a very good start to this stream. Fuck yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Hey, youngling. hey, Pokey, how are you? Pokey, you just missed the best thing in the world. I just got Diluc on the standard banner. One of the next five stars I do not have. In the bag. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff happening today already. We're only 20 minutes in. I got Diluc. You're in a league of your own, Jailing. <laughs> it was a total breeze. I wasn't even trying. 
Uh, but a true champion never rests on their laurels. I did not clip it. I did not. Fuck. I didn't clip it. No. Wait, I actually didn't clip it. No. I didn't even think about that. True. Fuck. No. Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me see if I can't pull up the last five minutes. Because it was within the last five minutes. I wonder if I can clip it. Can I clip within the last five minutes? Uh, no. I only can do 30 seconds. <laughs> Shut up, Benoit. Fuck <laughs> I can actually, uh, when I finish this, um, when I finish this, I can actually show you that I just got it. Like, today is 10-4, and it says 10-4 on it. What a shame we just ate. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. And anyway, we get to eat your food all the time, so we're biased. You should find some other people this time, just to play it safe. Good idea. Okay, let me think. <gasps> So what I can do, let me show you, I wrote a character archive, I just got him, <clears throat> and I, I mean, I just got Dilu, and joined on 10-4, it says at the very bottom, just got on 10-4, very happy, very excited. Must be a glitch. Nah, nah. If, it's a, if it was a glitch, then why does it say Jean's on 11-3? Jungle's on 12-2. Oh, and this ginger prick, I mean, uh, child joined on force. God, I don't want him in my party. I don't want him ever. Go to the wharf to look for Beto. Okay, we knew that. Rigged. I don't have that emote. Isn't she at the wharf? Where's the wharf? Oh, this way. You live in a tower of lies, sure. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got everyone at the same day. Like, I got everyone at the very beginning of Genshin. Like, all these characters during the beta, I got them all. And you just, you just never saw any of them. Like, no one was ever talking about any of them. And I just got them all. <laughs> oh my god, Giant's getting some oh, screen time. Beto, ahoy! Hey, look, who is she with? Hi, Beto. Hi, Xinyan. Are we in Yo, Xinyan. Screen time. <laughs> Woman of the hour. We were just talking about you. Oh, well, Beto was saying you and I should get ourselves on board sometime. Says the whole crew's been asking for us. <laughs> Screen time! Let's go! Jen Yan, a rock musician based in Liyue, uses her music as a form of resistance against societal stereotypes. Her tunes are well loved and the style of her tunes is much like she is. Straightforward, generous, confident, and proud. Every time she steps onto her personally designed stage, loyal fans will come flocking and rock to her rhythm. If you hear if you hear cheers and fireworks go up in any place in Liyue Harbor at the same time, it's most likely Jen so don't miss out. Pog. Seems like you three go way back. Oh, we really do. Beto and Shinyan are two of my oldest customers, and I've helped out in the kitchen on board Beto's ship in the past. Recently, Shinyan's been planning to do a show on board, too. Oh, cool. That's the plan. Good music's meant for sharing. You guys should check it out sometime. Now, now, Shinyan is no longer a myth in the story. Now, I want to say, I do not like her English vo uh, VA. She is not supposed to be that Southern. 
However, I am biased because I live in the north. But I, it, it doesn't sound like she matches with the rest of the area. I will do. But I came here today because I made it into the Masterful Chef Finals. And I was just trying out some new dishes to bring to the competition. Can you have a little taste and give me some feedback? Sure. Beats drinking on an empty stomach. Oh, about time. I'm starving over here. So let's see what you got. Ah, <laughs> my southern pride. <laughs> Chicken foo young tasting awesome. Oh, this food is too good for me to be soaking up the alcohol with. <laughs> These three seem to have a great time with each other. Those are the kinds of friends you want in love. <gasps> it's Koopa. It's the god. It's the god. He's a god. The only thing is, you've got three dishes here chicken foo young, come and get it, and crystal shrimp. And they all taste kind of refreshing. Is refreshing really a flavor? Actually, actually, cornbread is one of my specialties. I love making cornbread. Cornbread is actually one of my favorite dishes to pair with um, deep south casseroles. Delicious. I make a monster cornbread with my chicken pot pie. Absolute monster. When you spend all your time at sea, you don't have a lot of choice when it comes to food. Especially on the longer voyages where you've got to stretch out your rations as far as you can. The first thing you want to do when you get back on dry land is dig into a nice hot meal that's swimming in oil and has a ton of flavor. That's the exact opposite of Mingwang's taste. Oh, sure is. Beto's tastes are pretty similar to mine and Changling's. Ugh, Mingguang. I am sick of hearing that name. <laughs> Our taste couldn't be more different. You'll never find us eating the same bowl of food. But last time when you were chatting with her, Paimon thought you two seemed to get along just fine. No. We're evenly matched. Guess that makes us equals. But I'm sorry, limp cabbage leaves are never going to do it. <laughs> oh, I hear ya, I hear ya. Steamed cabbage and broth might be upper class and look fancy and all, but man is it boring. It's never gonna give you that flavor explosion you get with some of the other dishes out there. So, Xinyan, are these dishes too mild for you too? Well, not so much mild. I just think you maybe missed a beat somewhere. Beat saver. Exactly. This is some fine cooking, no question about that. But if this is for a competition, it needs more... Oomph. Oomph. <laughs> Oomph. <laughs> she needs ro she needs bow bucks in her meal. Beat, yeah. You know what a beat is? I only know music though. I'm nowhere near your level when it comes to cooking, so don't mind me if it doesn't make much sense. No, no, you're both completely right. Beat and mm. That's what I mm. It's literally just bow box. As much while I was cooking them. Even though this was a brand new combination, it still felt like I was missing that one thing that will seal the deal. You know, really push it over the finish line. Seems like she's found her muse. Um, does that It's mean the god. This theory is compatible with cooking? Every bit is as compatible as we are, which is nothing. <laughs> Just give the food a good old bean. Let me go get my whack and stick. <laughs> Let me go get the belt for the kids. Don't hold back. Just get out there and do your oh. Well, I think so anyway. More than any other chef. And there ain't a whole lot of people I'd be willing to say that about. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thanks, everyone. All right, we'll leave you to it. I'm going to take Shinyan on board for a while. Younglings, they both had pretty strong taste. You sure that won't be a problem? 
Shouldn't we get a second opinion from someone with milder tastes? That's a good point. Beta likes her greasy stir fries, and Shinyan can really handle her spice. Yeah, we should get another opinion. Damn. Now, how do we know whose tastes are on the mild side? Um, traveler, any suggestions? Hmm. Now, if we're still in leeway, I do know one person. But if we're in Mondstadt, it's it's essentially the whole leaderboard. Jean likes mild, Venti likes mild, Mona hates mild, so she's kind of out. Um, Diona likes mild, Diluc likes burnt, which is weird. I've got someone in mind. Almond tofu. We could do it right here. Gene is a, yeah, Gene is a Gene is a pizza person, so she is a very mild person. We're just gonna go into a fucking back alley. Look at this world quest while I'm here. I wonder how mom and dad is doing. I've been to Inazuma. What's wrong? When I left Inazuma, I left without saying goodbye. Ever since I was little, I've longed for the world. Oh, she came from Inazuma. Damn. I'll take care of it. Like how she just has a letter for her parents. Just like, oh, traveler, I have this letter of my entire endeavors throughout my life, including of what happened yesterday. What do I, oh. Why are we going to shout it? <laughs> um, nothing's happening. Hmm, let me try again. Yeah! Her fucking voice is cracking my headphones. Dragon Slayer delivering mail. Nice. Yeah, it's weird. Oh! Wait, wait, are we actually about to say Zhao? Am I actually about to say Zhao? Oh, Zhao, you there? Yo! Let's go! You spoke my name. I didn't think that would work, actually. When I make you a promise, I will honor it. Blink of an eye and poof, he's there. That's how you know he's an adeptus. An adeptus? Oh, Zhao, was it? <laughs> Look at Goofo, he's like, hey, how you doing, bud? Hey! And then Zhao is probably like, oh, fuck, not this guy again. I bet you that just gave PTSD to like fucking the kids in the background and they're like, Mom, I just watched a man disappear and his name was Zhao. No, he didn't. And then Zhao fucking slits their throat in the middle of the night. Return of the emo, yeah. We value our opinion, Zhao, as much as we do your emo and your s sadistical... Sadistical or suicidal tradition? I don't know. Since it's you, I will Let's go! 
Chow's like, fucking leave me alone. Um, how is it? Are you sure <laughs> 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 Paimon's like the dietitian in every hospital. Are you okay? Have you eaten? Are you okay? Are you okay? Is your blood pressure high? Excel in the culinary arts. I'm reminded of another chef I know. Yo! That chef cooks dishes with soul, as do you. Both of you are masters of your craft. Uh, who do you think he means? Smiley. Yangshao? Yangshao. If I had to find fault with something, the two sides are a little strong for my taste. Some minor adjustments would take this dish from excellence to perfection. Just my own opinion. Do not fixate on it. Take it or leave it as you see fit. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Thank you, adeptus friend. It was really great to meet you. Yo, let's go. Leaving now. Thank you. <laughs> Goob is like a oh, fuck. See you next time. Poof away. I can't believe he actually came. I can. So, what would happen if we called his name again now? Do you think he'd come back right away? Paimon, we're not doing that as as funny as that would be. Only kinda, maybe not really joking. Jeez. The goob was like, fuck you. News. After two rounds of taste testing, I've had an idea on what to do next. How? Great. Lucky we picked the right people to talk to. I better head back and try this out a few times while it's fresh in my mind. Thanks for your help. No problem. Oh, and the final is in Yujing Terrace. You better come and watch. Sure. Will do. Good luck. You'll do fine. You'll do great. <laughs> you bet. Oh, shit. Wait for the competition to start the next day, 10 to 14. Hmm. Okay. Time. Let's go. Actually, I am very excited though. I got uh, I got dilute. Very happy about that. That's probably gonna be the uh, the clip highlight on YouTube. Let's go. Where is it? Oh. Ha 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 ha. Call Zhao again, just for him to pop up and just to slap you poof away again. Yeah, that's probably what, the, yeah. That's probably what would happen, if I'm going to be honest. Shut up, Paimon. I was talking to, I was talking to chat. Chat's more important than the story. Let's go, though. Sheesh. Yo, it's Yon. Wait, why is Yonfei here? Wait, why is Yonfei here? Oh! <gasps> Welcome everyone to the Masterful Chef's Final. At the appointment of this organizing committee. Yo, it's Gooba. Let's go. No, it's Yonfei. Hey, Yonfei's here too. This event is brought to you by the Liyue Qixing in collaboration with a number of participating enterprises. There's literally no one here. Into the selections phase and the finals. There's literally many contestants no one all here. Over Liyue in the selections process, and all of them were outstanding chefs in their own right. Of those, the two strongest participants were put through to today's finals. In just a few short moments, the finals will take place right here before your very eyes. As the officiator, it is my honor and privilege to represent the organizing committee and indeed the people of Liyue and overseeing today's proceedings. Yo, it's Kaching. Next, please allow me to <laughs> Well, jobs are important. There will be a select panel and an audience panel. The three members of the select panel are the Tianquan, Lady Ningguang. Okay. The Yuheng, Lady Kaching. Okay. And last but not least, Gourmet connoisseur, Uncle Tien. Wait! Oh shit! Uncle Tien's here! I didn't realize that's who that was! Let's fucking go! Tien, uh, Tien is a guy with a world quest that gave us a really nice recipe for crit rate. In addition to these three, 
10 judges will be chosen from among the audience to sample our contestants. Let's go. That makes a total of 13 judges with 13 votes between them. Each judge will vote for their preferred finalist, and the one who receives the most votes will be today's winner. 13 is odd. There's literally us. There's no one. Please join me in welcoming our two contestants into the arena. Come on out. They're the standing. Competition favorite down from Dihua. Life's harsh when you live on a marsh, but this kitchen ace will put a smile on your face. Please welcome Smiley Genshou. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait, is this mother? Uh, wait. <sighs> My question is this being recorded on like scrolls? <laughs> It's Gagoopa. A whole lot of spicy. <laughs> Give it up for Xiangling. Uh, and her mysterious assistant. Who knows who? It's Gagoopa. I'm unknown. It's Gagoopa. Hey, everybody. I'll do my best. Biggie <laughs> back. Repeat after me. As a finalist in Masterful Chefs, I solemnly swear to commit myself fully, compete fairly, and abide by all competition procedures. <laughs> Big event, and it's three people, the contestants and us. As a finalist and masterful chef, I solemnly swear to commit myself fully, compete fairly, and abide by all competition procedures. Uh... As a finalist in Masterful Chefs, I um, solemnly swear to commit myself fully, compete fairly, and abide by all competition procedures. Why is he so nervous? And I, for my part, promise to uphold the principles of fairness, impartiality, and transparency in my officiation of the proceedings. Now, I will hand things over to the select panel judge, Ningguang, for the announcement of today's theme. Thank you all for being here today at the Masterful Chefs Oh, Chef God, her finals. voice. Oh. I am the Tianchuan Mingguang. Oh, so smooth. The organizers have chosen a theme for today's event, and that theme is of Earth and Waterborn. It sends a fucking chill down my spine whenever she speaks. Oh, it's so nuts. Of Earth and Waterborn. <laughs> hmm. Just like the Feast of Bounteous Land. Geo Mains, right? <laughs> 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 Something's rising, but it ain't the shield here. <laughs> it's like surf and turf, but the deep and meaningful version. The rules are simple. The one who receives the most votes wins. Tailor your dishes to the judges' preferences. Or win over the audience with your originality. The, the choice, choice is yours. yours. Well then, I look forward to both of your contributions. Contestants will have one hour of cooking time available and may only use ingredients provided by the organizers in their dishes. I trust this is no problem. Okay, without further ado, let the cooking commence. Begin. Cl silent claps, let's go. Silent claps. Show everyone why you're the best. I'm not saying that. She lights it on fire. Wait, 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 wait! Hold the fuck up! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold the fuck up! I am not cooking! I am not cooking! What the fuck? Excuse me! Oh, God. Uh, 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 stove. Pepper. Day. Wait. Make delicious crystal shrimp. Yo, that's easy. That's fucking easy. Pick suitable seasoning. I want pepper. 
What the fuck does that say? Junyun Chili Chicken is the main event. Can't afford to compromise too much here, but maybe some pepper will set it apart without alienating anyone. Make delicious Junyun Chili. I do that. Oh, Julian Ch <laughs> This is fucking weird. Uh, who makes the special dish? She does. Bingo. Let's go. Yo. Oh, Yunxiao. He doesn't look so good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Taking an unexpected <laughs> turn on the masterful chef stage. Sheng Ling's mysterious assistant appears to be aiding her opponent. Judges, are we going to allow this? We knew in advance that Sheng Ling would be accompanied by a mysterious assistant, and the judges agreed that the two could be classed as one individual for the purposes of the competition. But what do we say to this? I take no issue with it. In any case, <laughs> done much in the way of assisting. Let's go. <laughs> no competition would be complete without a little drama. All a part of being young. I won't be the old fogey then. I can see your polygons. <clears throat> Please allow me to explain to our host. Prior to the competition, the judges reviewed both contestants. And we can comfortably confirm that neither side is participating in a way that contravenes the competition rules. Xiangling is a highly accomplished chef, and her assistant is more like family to her. Xiangling prepares all of her own dishes herself. All that her assistant will do is occasionally provide a fire source. Given Xiangling's level of culinary skill, the difference between her using firewood or her assistant is a trivial one. I appreciate everything. Let's go! The presence of a mysterious assistant performing strange dance moves to cheerlead for Zhongling is a little unexpected. But the mysterious assistant has now started cheerleading for Smiley Yenxiao, too, demonstrating total impartiality. By encouraging both Zhongling and her opponent, they have proven to be a fair supporter. Yo! That's right! Boba's not really outside help. Boba just likes to watch people cook. I'm sure the only reason they went over there is to try to help Yen Xiao feel less nervous. I give you all my word, Boba will not interfere with the competition. And I would also say that it's a loss to the competition if Yen Xiao isn't at the top of his form. I say that as someone who's eaten Yen Xiao's cooking at Wang Shuren before. He is an excellent chef, and I want this to be a competition between the best we both have to bring. I see. Hmm. Most amusing. Mm. Uncle Tian, what's your opinion? I have no objections. It's an honor and a privilege to see two contestants so dedicated to having a fair and square contest. <laughs> the judges and the officiator accept this explanation. Tian are you alright? <laughs> In conclusion, let the damn bear dance. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never been so nervous in my life. Uh, look, my hands won't stop shaking. Take it easy. I've been there before. I can help. Try saying a tongue twister to yourself in your head. Or think of some happy memories about your dad. Why my dad? That's a bit specific. Because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll think of my mom. <laughs> You should carry on. <laughs> Gooba walks up to him with a gun. Keep cooking now. <laughs> Nothing's being held up. I'm finished already. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, then I need to focus up and win this thing. Yo. Go. Let's go. You're a very capable chef, Yen Xiao. So come on. Show everyone what you're made of. Just like you showed us last time at Wang Xuan. Yes, you're right. I can do this. I can do this. Thank you, Xiong Ling. And thanks to your, um, well, thanks. <laughs> Time for me to get cooking. <laughs> Don't even tell me I'm about to. Oh, I was about to say, I can't believe I'm about to cook for him. Both contestants have now finished cooking. I would like to invite them to present their dishes to the judges for evaluation. 
We will proceed in the order that the contestants finished. Xiangling, please describe your dish. My dish is... Jiyun chili chicken with sides of triple layered consomme and crystal shrimp. The theme is... Of earth and water boy, which includes land and sea. In other words, land animals, fowl, and seafood are all potential ingredients. My main dish, Jiyun chili chicken, is a combination of fowl and chilies. Jiyun chilies capture the essence of the mountains where they grow, and fowl is a gift from the heavens. Triple layered consomme also uses fowl, and its other ingredients are ham and bamboo shoots. These are also flavors from the mountains, but they complement and contrast with the chicken dish. Fresh instead of spicy, cold instead of hot. The crystal shrimp is made from a combination of rice, shrimp meat, and carrot. A thin, translucent skin wraps diced carrot and a whole shrimp. Fresh, crispy, and tender. Shrimps are a gift from the ocean. Tightly wrapping them in a skin made from rice makes this dish a blend of land and sea. Fresh with a hint of sweetness. It's the perfect note to end this course on. Ooh, a strong delivery there from Xiangling. Let's see what our next contestant, Yan Xiao, has to say. My dish is... Adeptus Temptation with a mint salad and golden shrimp balls. As Xiangling says, earth and water means land and sea. So birds, land animals, and seafood were also the ingredients I incorporated. Adeptus Temptation is a much-loved dish in Liyue. And as chef of Wang Shuin, I've always been proud to offer this as the signature specialty dish of our menu. It's a complex dish with very particular ingredients. Smoked ham, crab, fresh shrimp meat, and matsutake. I chose this as my main dish as a sign of respect toward my profession and to this competition. The mint salad is my first side. Cool and tender with a subtle sweetness. It's a perfect answer to the rich and strong flavors of the Adeptus Temptation. Golden Shrimp Balls is a time-honored classic loved by everyone. A hearty and wholesome broth, followed up with a shrimp ball. <laughs> oh, pure bliss. Mmm, can smell it from all the way over here. It's driving Paimon crazy. Judges, please sample the dishes. They all eat. Very impressive. Both contestants' dishes are well considered, expertly made, and truly delicious. I'm gonna have another golden shrimp. Uh, um, I mean, <clears throat> I shall have to sample both contestants' dishes once more before I can reach a verdict. Now, Xiang Ling has taken an interesting approach here. She's chosen a cold dish as her main. I have to say, that's a bold move. It's also a unique take on Zhuiyun chili chicken. Although the dish as a whole is served cold, the chili peppers have been stir-fried, so they're still just a little warm on the inside. You get a nice crunch as you bite in. Then you get the spiciness and warmth all coming in together, and then just a hint of that wonderful pepperiness to top it all off. <laughs> It's quite simply extraordinary. <clears throat> this Adeptus Temptation is quite exceptional. The triple layer consomme is also a very superlative contribution. Excellent flavor, well balanced between sweet and savory. Yes, the standard is very high. Judges of the select panel, I will now ask you to consider your votes carefully before writing them down and handing them to me. Also, the organizing committee has selected today's audience judges, and they are now evaluating the dishes. Everyone who's been lucky enough to sample today's dishes... Oh shit, there's another guy! Let's go! There's another guy watching! Uh, how are we not involved in this? Why didn't they pick us to be We'd judges? be biased as fuck. I'll cook the same dishes for you <laughs> later. Judges off stage, sample the dishes Thank before casting their the Where is the rest of the where counted and the results have been returned to Ninglong? Where are the rest of the judges? I now invite Ningguang to take the floor and announce the results of the Masterful Chef's finals. 
It is my pleasure to announce that the winner of the masterful chef Smiley. Is... Smiley. <laughs> smiley. And Smiley. By Amir. <gasps> Yo! Yang Shao is a great chef, too. Well, there it is. <sighs> I knew it. It was a close contest, but we have a winner. Lila Harbor's Yangling has beaten Diva Marsh's Damn. by just one vote. That's sad. There can only be one winner, but the fact that this was so close shows just how much both of these outstanding chefs managed to impress our judges. Thank you both for your stellar contributions here today. She's got a vision. The game is rigged. All the audience for being here today, especially those who have come from far and wide. Being by a kid feels bad, man. Competition to be fair and valid. Thus bringing the masterful chef's finals to a close. Thank you all for coming. Until next time. Who is she talking to? And remember to take all of your personal belongings with you. Come on, let's go over and take a look. What? Where are they? Where is everyone? Oh, shit. What? 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 Ka-ching, don't give me that fucking look. I'll come for your ass. I'll come for your ass. Looks like I won this time, Yen Xiao. <laughs> but I'd still like to try your dishes, if that's okay. Sure. I'll have a try of yours too. The two exchange test dishes. Oh, truly exquisite. <laughs> no doubt in my mind why you're the winner here. Mm, this adeptus temptation is really good. It's so fresh, I'm almost moved to tears. <laughs> well, just goes to show that you have a taste for the finer things in life. Oh. No, no, you've got me all wrong. What you want to know why? <laughs> Food cooking is not to be looked down upon. You wanna know why I don't have an audience? Is because my graphics are on low. <laughs> the great audience, and there's no one here. Is that right? Huh. I'd heard you'd gotten famous for your experimental approach to cooking, and we're all about fancy and exclusive foods. Never realized you'd done your time in a small kitchen, too. <laughs> well, there you have it. All the greats come from the smallest places. Oh! The same goes for you. You can't work in an inn kitchen unless you know how to consistently please customers. It's no wonder your food is so top-notch. You're the kind of competition I'm glad to have. Let's stay in touch. Maybe we can find some time in the future, too. <laughs> that is sus as fuck! You Sauce. Sauce. All right. Deal. Traveler, Paimon. Thanks for coming. Did you get to try the food? Don't even go there. Paimon still pee. I can't believe it. You didn't get picked. Well, never mind. She laughed. That's cute. I'll make some more for you when we get back. said that Yen Xiao and I need to go register our delivery addresses. Apparently, they're going to deliver an exclusive ingredients package and the prize money at a later date. Yo, she's... Yo. I'll come find you guys after. No. Uh, Xiaoling seems really happy. Good for her. Looks like Kuching and Ningguang left already. As the organizers, they must have gone to wrap up some last minute things. Oh, yeah, the statue. For an update about the statue. Statue of Liberty, right? It's the Statue of Liberty, right? The Statue of Liberty? 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 What? Oh, yeah, where did Kachin go? She kind of looked at us fucking weird. And then was like, Hey, Kachin. How you doing? Hey, woman.
That's weird. Something is weighing on Kuching's mind. You'll be going. Have a great night. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Traveler, I have found myself in something of a. I'm stuck. In the competition, I voted for Smiley and Xiao. So you're frustrated because you can't go back and vote for Xiangling instead? No, that's not it. As a judge, I had a duty to remain objective. I made my decision after thinking about it very carefully. My conscience is clear. Xiangling is my friend. So by rights, I should be honest with her about this. But, as you know, I voted based purely on my personal opinion. As a contestant, Xiangling may not be able to appreciate this. And I do not know how to deal with people of her temperament. <sighs> I just don't know how to break it to her. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. Just say it however comes naturally. Xiang Ling of all people isn't bothered about that kind of stuff. And anyway, she still won in the end. Oh, hey, here you are. I've been looking for you for ages. Look at her eyes. Xiang Ling, there's something I need to tell you. I want to marry uh, you. Wh what is it? My grandfather always said to me, in contests of food, always follow your heart. Which is to say that in gastronomical disputes, or indeed competitions, one must cast their vote for the party that they agree with. Oh this my god, she's making it difficult! Not influenced by any external factors. Of course, that was just my grandfather's opinion. But, I have to say, I am inclined to think he had a point. So, despite the fact that I am your friend, I cast my vote for Smiley Yen Chao's Adeptus Temptation. You, I think you mean the Golden Shrimp Balls. <laughs> well, maybe it was. I like Golden Shrimp Balls. Is that a problem? <laughs> I, I like... <laughs> Shutting up. You were acting so serious that I honestly thought something was up. It's fine. Doesn't bother me one bit. Huh? You voted for who you wanted to. And that's totally okay. In fact, that's exactly how it should be. Otherwise, how could it be a fair competition? So, you made a point of telling me. Is that because you were worried that it made you a bad friend? <clears throat> I... Don't be absurd. ka -ching! Didn't I say already? I love this about you. Oh! <gasps> 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 Like, right? Jado's always telling me about how well she gets along with Ningguang. They even play chess aboard her ship sometimes. So you see, Ningguang's kind of bold in that she doesn't let her identity and reputation get in the way of her ability to have a good time. You can take a leaf out of her book. Outside of work, it's time to let go and relax. Shangli is right on the money. Traveler, Shangli. Oh, she's gonna start crying. What are we standing around here for? Let's go and check on the status of the stove gods. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm very curious. Yo, it's Madam Ping. Let's go. Oh, it cracked a shit ton. Wow. How strange. It hasn't changed one bit. What do you mean? Yes, it has. Look, it's got multiple cracks now. This doesn't make any sense. We cooked our hearts out. Does this mean the competition wasn't enough to awaken the statue? 
There's still time. We can find the chance to light the lighthouse with the flames of the birds of eternity. Yeah, we've waited this long already. There's no harm in waiting a little longer. Right, Xiangling? Yep, there's still time. Let's be patient. We'll all see this through together. On another note, I have some good news for you, Kuching. Things are looking optimistic for that recipe you gave me. Master came by before the competition and filled in the parts that we're missing. So now I'll be able to cook it. In fact, I'll go find somewhere to make it right now. Wait here. Xiangling. Oh, uh, and Traveler, could you come with me? Sure. Huh? You only just beat Smiley and Chow. You think you're up for challenging us already? Alright, time for me to get real. I'm something of a kitchen god myself. Obviously not what I meant. You collect recipes, don't you? I thought you'd probably be needing this dish during your travels, so I figured I'd share it with you. Oh, right. Time I knew that. <laughs> Jeez, you're believing your words so fast, you'll give yourself heartburn. Ooh. At me for. Go on, go get on with your cooking. Wow, she is. Make delicious chili mince cornbread buns. Yo! Cornbread? Let's fucking go! Let's go make cornbread. Fuck yeah! Actually, hold on. I have something I can do. Let's go. I should have a cooking stove in here. I know I have one in house. <clears throat> That's weird. Something Guan. Shub Shungling. Those look so good. Uh, those look like a meal that uh, Razor would cook. That looks so good. Bingo. Let's go. Look at the wings. They fit perfectly with Jean. That's nice. The hell? Traveler and I made one each. Here, have a taste while it's still warm. 
Thank you. Don't mind if I do. A chain tastes everyone dishes. What is it? What does that face mean? <laughs> she loves it. I loves it. It's flavor. I've tasted it before. Kaching is about to nut. Uh, apologies, Shangling, Traveler. Thank you both. This is everything I had hoped it would be. It tastes wonderful and quite amazingly. Somehow it took me right back to my childhood. When my grandfather was still around. Oh. Really? That's awesome! I didn't have a chance to fully explain before. In fact, when Master had filled in the missing parts of the recipe for me, I realized that I already knew how to make this dish. What? You already knew? You mean you were able to make this without ever seeing the recipe? Uh-huh. My dad taught me how to make it. Oh. Uh. Wait, but isn't this dish from Kuching's grandpa's notes, though? About that, I do not believe that this recipe was my grandfather's creation. Ooh. My grandfather was a well-known real estate tycoon in Lingua, and also a scholar. He was an avid collector of old books and was quite knowledgeable on many of Liwa's customs and traditions that are no longer practiced. As a child, I used to spend a lot of time with him in his study. We'd read the classics together and debate how much of it was actually genuine. And whether Rex Lapis was real or not. He used to say, books are just a bridge that bring us a little closer to history. It's up to those of us in later generations to ask these questions, search for the answers, and decide what they mean. Oh. Since then, my grandfather has passed on, and I've grown up to become a Chising. My views on Rex Lapis have changed in this time, too. From myth to reality. For me... The name Rex Lapis is inextricably wound up with memories of my grandfather. <laughs> Whenever I see his name written down, it always reminds me of sitting in my grandfather's study and seeing all of his notes. As I said earlier, this recipe came from those same notes. It's an ancient dish that he was trying to restore to its original form. But, unfortunately, without the full recipe, he never quite succeeded. Hmm. Still... Each time he tried cooking it, he'd always get me to have a taste while it was still warm. <sighs> the memories. This really is the taste of my childhood. Ancient dish? Are cornbread buns really that Yes. Old? Well, at least in my family it is. My dad learned how to make it from his dad, and supposedly it's been passed down that way for generations. We call them chili mince cornbread buns. They're a traditional folk food snack, easy to pack up and take with you on the road. So they're the perfect thing to eat on the go. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Wova just reminded me of something. I actually made this dish on the day I first met Wova. How did you first meet? It was in a cave in the mountains. I ducked inside to get out of the rain and saw an offering table in there. So I put the cornbread buns I brought with me on it. Then I ended up falling asleep, and when I woke up, I found out that Guova had eaten every last one. Guova followed me around ever since. We're practically family now. Hold up! Stop the conversation! Look! The, the stone! Oh! Oh! It's Guova? <laughs> Is that Guova? I see the chili mince cornbread buns have been served. Oh, Madam Ping! Granny, look! The stone cut statue looks just like Guova! Oh, indeed it does. After all, Guova is the deity you've been searching for. God of the stone. Yo! Oh, what? Guova is a god? <sighs> You asked me if a sufficiently festive atmosphere would be enough to reawaken the stove god. And my answer is this. Yes. And no. The stove god has always been a deity with great affection for the people, and who acts in response to their desires. To him, the heart's passions and the heart's desires are not the same thing. 
Passion can be a technique, a skill, something derived from experience. But desires, they are deeper, more innate. They are the heart's strength in its purest form. Masterful chefs is wonderfully exciting, but it is more an exercise of passion than of desire. And passion alone will not suffice to reawaken the stove god from his deep slumber. But just now, when Kuching ate this dish he had longed for, a deeply held desire was fulfilled. As well as receiving an answer to a question, she also gained something much more precious. A moment of poignant nostalgia so vivid, it felt like she was right there alongside her grandfather. The enormous power unleashed by the fulfillment of this desire resonated with the stove god's statue and caused it to manifest once more the form it took in the past. Yo! Of course, the stove god himself is not contained within the statue. <laughs> the true stove god has been here with us all along. <sighs> How does it feel seeing a statue of yourself from your glory days? Ah, look at him. Still so majestic. Glory days? Wait, what happened? Did Glory used to be different from now? Yes. Oh, yes. Back in his day, your Guobar was once the patron god of the soil. But all the wisdom and power he had then, he has since surrendered to the soil itself. A god surrendering their power to the soil. I have heard this turn of phrase before, but what does it mean? Yo. The kinds of trials and tribulations that a land can face are far more than you could imagine. Droughts, floods, torrential, torrential rain, rain hurricanes, hurricanes, earthquakes, earthquakes tsunamis, tsunamis, fires, and plagues. The threat of disaster will never fully disappear from Lyre. Even woes that have never been faced before in history will come to pass in the future. Such things affect you mortals far more than we Adepti, with our immortal forms. He once walked with you over the barren plains until you arrived at last at the harbor. He joined you in building your dwellings and lighting the stoves. It was his hand that lit the very first street lamp of Lyre and brought the aroma of cooked food into every household in the land. You mortals no longer remember him, but back in the age when you did, he was the closest of all the Adepti to the common folk. <gasps> Cutscene! Machosius. God of the stove, born from a spark when stone struck stone. He was a god with a great love for humanity and their well being. Millennia ago, the people sought to expand their city. They built a dwelling on the plains and called it the Gwaili Assembly. The stove god cared greatly for the people, turning himself into minions who went into every home, fostering food and solidarity alike. Alas, their home was taken by a flood. The waters ravaged the Gwaili assembly and forced the people back south to Liyue Harbor. Though the distance was not far, GONE YOU! Yeah! A terrible storm. For a dozen days, the Adepti stayed by their side. During this time, the stove god cooked an ancient delicacy, flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold and damp, fit for those on the move. Centuries later, disaster and plague arose once more. The stove god would appear no longer, for he placed all of his power into the land itself to quell the calamities. His power expended and his wits greatly reduced, thus his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. He told Rex Lapis and I of the dishes that bring joy and of the secrets of the flame, then went into the mountains and entered into a long slumber.
The stove god departed, and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did not remember the past, he was profoundly moved and decided to follow this young lady thereafter. Oh. The stove god had quietly disappeared, but the vendors rose early to hawk their wares. People went out to buy goods, lit their stoves, and cooked food, just as they had done every day for as long as they could remember. <laughs> In Niue, things have always been this way. Nature provides, the mountains rejoice, we are blessed by heaven's good grace. Who is that? Who's the woman Years in blue? By. The world has transformed, but our way of life has survived. God, you! Yeah! GG! is only a season it is the moment that we should embrace who is that who's the girl below who is that past meets present heritage becomes legacy long into the future may we thrive who's that who's that girl told me that dining is the profoundest of customs in the human world to eat well is to consume vitality itself, and to drink well is to partake of the very essence of the world. It is a matter of paramount importance, you said, for people cannot face the arduous journey ahead on an empty stomach. At once a humble affair and a profound one. A humble meal of maize and spring water is also profound in that. By ensuring one's survival, it paves the way for millennia of human history and culture to come. My dear friend, Niue has changed so much while you have slept. Looking at the prosperity and beauty around us today, does it make you happy? Boba, this is kind of a huge deal. Why didn't you say anything? Uh... He is not who he once was. <laughs> Even the power of speech evades him now. There is no way he could have told you. Oh. Boba? But. But. Mm. Xiangling. Do not be saddened, Xiangling. There are two sides to everything. Boba may have lost many of his formal faculties, but. He is now as carefree as can be, without a single worry in the whole world. In this world we inhabit, who can truly be said to live a life free of all woes? Those with a mind and with knowledge will certainly be troubled by all manner of things. But he has gone further than us in his journey. He had both wisdom and courage. Everything he took upon himself he was also ready to part with. His carefree demeanor today is a testament to the fact that he is at rest. So since you are his friend, take good care of him. <laughs> Go out to walk and play. Allow him to eat, drink, and be merry. I will. You can count on me. Xiangling, you have an adeptal affinity. Guoba follows you around because he has respect for you. The moment he awoke, he was met with a familiar flavor in the chili mince cornbread buns he ate. After all that time, he still recognized the dish he had invented, and he approved of you as the one who had cooked it. Oh, that's right. The taste of one's home cuisine always brings back memories of home. Though he remembered nothing, Eating the food you had cooked gave him a feeling of familiarity. That is why he stuck by you. You may be the first person in history to give the stove god the experience of being a satisfied customer. That makes you quite a remarkable chef. If that's true, I couldn't be happier. Because putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. 
Well then, it's getting late and I still have things to do. Time for me to say goodbye. Traveler, Paimon, Xiangling, thank you all very much. I look forward to spending more time together in the future. Sounds good, Ka-Ching. I'll see you in the future. I guess my dad's probably heard the good news already, but I should still go catch up with him. Master, it's been a while since you came by. Why don't you join me? Ooh. He thinks about you all the time, you know. He's always telling me to invite you over. Oh, goodness me. Then, far be it from me. <gasps> Yay! Off we go then. Let's saunter over gently and. <laughs> Let's you know, saunter. That's adorable. For the Wine Moon Restaurant. Let's go. I will always love the cutscenes that give us pride and joy. Let's go. Her daughter's a fucking masterful chef. Let's go. She followed her dream and now she's got what she rose to be. Let's go. Hi, Dad. I'm back. Hey, hey. What are you doing there? I should be the one handling that. Where's Globa going? Look who it is. Oh! 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 Oh no! I know this! Oh! Oh, it's you. Oh! Oh! Yo! This is just so touchy! Hello there, old friend. Bless my soul. Are you out for a stroll as well? Yo, Zhang Li! Given the season, it felt fitting to take a leisurely walk while the meal is being prepared. Quite right. And it also gave us the chance to run into you. Guoba may not recognize you, but as ever, he seems quite delighted to see you. So, Guoba doesn't remember anything, but can still feel when something's familiar? <laughs> Friendship will always withstand the ravages of time. Traveler, what do you think of the name of this festival? Moon chase. Evocative and seasonal. The moon is a carrier of countless emotions. So many things only seem to surface as we gaze up beneath its poignant glow. Wherever the moonlight shines, the heart is wont to follow. Fond memories of those no longer with us. Debts of gratitude to old friends. The meaning of ages past and gone. All wrapped up in the city that has existed for so many moons to date. Oh. All these things and more. They are why people chase the moon. Oh. <laughs> in old age, the sight of many things puts one in a wistful mood. But children are always a beautiful sight to see. Such exuberant life force. It seems to well up from deep within the land itself. A land that has been in existence for so many millennia, and yet one that still dazzles today. Perhaps that is what defies Liwei. Traveler, this Moon Chase Festival has been all the more entertaining with you here to witness it. Now, let's have Xiang Ling brew us a nice pot of tea. <laughs> we shall drink and chat at our leisure. Yo. Three to get ready, and here we go. Quest completed to be continued. Is it time for some moon chase specialties? Piping hot Zhang Jui! So fucking funny. God, it's such a good quest. Such a good quest. That unlocks in 11 hours. Moonlight Seeker. Locks in 11 hours. And top one. 
unlocks at 11 hours. Wait. Path of a state of frost. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy. Oh hey, what do you think? Hmm. Everyone's here to eat. What should I cook? Let me think. I've got some fowl and some fish and shrimp meat, so I can do two snack dishes. Yes, and a few stir fries. <laughs> oh. Oh <gasps> wait. Oh, they're all right here! Guoba? Mm. The food at one Min restaurant is excellent. I eat You're here right. often. Oh, you can say that again. Xiang Ling is a remarkable child. Surely the culinary talent of a century. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. To have mastered the craft at her age lends credence to the old aphorism that heroes are made young. Yo? Yo, this is a first. I've never seen this before. Very cute. This is actually a really touching story. <laughs> Hold on, I'm opening Discord for a second. Time to move on. We should. All right. I think that's. Uh, I think that's everything for today. Thank you for everyone who came. I. Give you all the thank you of coming in. I will see you all later.